Want to improve your memory? It's easy. Just turn your mind into a fun house of images. Trust me. There was a time long, long ago when humans had to rely on their noggins instead of putting their to-do list in their smartphones or looking up a random bit of information on the internet. And before books became widely available, the ability to memorize information was paramount, not just a party trick. In fact, some of the greatest Greek and Roman minds in history relied on their sharp mental memories in order to deliver exceptional speeches without the aid of notes. And some of them did this using the loci or loci method, also known as the the memory palace. The idea is to take some place that you know really well, say your home, and then put in some really cool mental images, some symbolic images that serve as stand-ins for the actual things that you want to remember. The wackier these images, the easier it is for your brain to recall them. So let's say that I want to remember what the molecular structure for caffeine is. Well, that is C8H10N4 how did I commit that to memory? Well, I made a memory palace and this is how I did it. All right, so for my memory palace, I have decided that I'm going to make my front door into a giant piece of carbon copy paper. Now that carbon copy paper, besides fluttering in the wind very dramatically, has an infinity sign in gold in it. It's just glowing. And so that is really emblazoned in my memory now. And I start to think about this. Well, if I turn that infinity sign, that looks like an eight. So all of a sudden I have my eight carbon atoms. Now I'm going to pass through that portal into my living room. So now I'm in the living room and I look up and I see 10 Hindenburg airships. Obviously what we're talking about here is 10 atoms of hydrogen, right? Hindenburg, hydrogen, it's all there. And then I take a trip to the loo where I come face to face with four naked ne'er-do-wells, an obvious stand-in for four nitrogen atoms, right? Of course, two octopi would be on hand to help towel off the naked ne'er-do-wells, and now I have my two oxygen atoms. And bingo, I have pinned down the molecular structure of caffeine to my spatial memory. The method works because the hippocampus, the place that stores memory, also does double duty with spatial reasoning. In a study published in the journal Nature, mental athletes, people like Ed Cook, who can commit a thousand digit number to his memory in just an hour, these people were asked to look at three digit numbers, uh, black and white photos, and magnified images of snowflakes and commit them to memory. Researchers found that in comparison to the control group that the mental athletes were actually using more of their spatial memory, essentially pegging the things that they wanted to remember to blueprints in their minds. All right, here is a challenge. Can you use the memory palace to commit as many digits of pi to your memory as possible? You could put a couple of digits in each of the rooms of your memory palace. Let us know how it goes in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos. Wow.